It's 5.30 in the morning here in Kathmandu, Nepal. I just finished packing my bags. Here's a quick update on the last few days. I haven't shot any footage. It took us three days to get back to Lukla Airport from Everest Base Camp. They were long days, 22 miles a day, up, down. We got back safely yesterday morning. I immediately got some laundry done, got a massage, got a hot shower, and got some vegetables, all four of which have me feeling pretty good right now. But there's not too much time for rest because now, right now we're leaving uh, to get on a bus. What I've been told is a very bumpy bus ride, 10 hours to the Sarang Chabis province where we are going to finish construction of This World Exists first school. Should be fun. Let's go. Back to work on these. This is really... Look at that. It's a fucking abortion, really. Yeah. I don't know how they keep track of who's using what power. I think they just, instead of fixing one, they just plug in a new one. That's what... Just finishing our first day of construction here in Sorong Chabavis. There's our tents, and there is our school. The roof's going up, we're leveling the floors. Lots of other small projects are happening. While the kids are learning, chattering away in that building, which is the old school. Old school, new school. Hey there, we're just wrapping up our first day of construction. I thought I'd relay a few more observations from this amazing experience. Uh, first, we are really, I, don't, I couldn't tell you where we are in Nepal. We left Kathmandu yesterday and took a 10 hour bus ride, which was frankly terrifying, to Sorong Chabis, which I couldn't find on Google the day before that. Uh, so we're somewhere and really in the heart of the jungle in this valley. And these folks have not seen a lot of people from other countries. In fact, the first group of volunteers that was here in September were the first ones. Uh, so we're probably uh, people number 16 through 30 that uh, the folks around here have ever seen, which creates an interesting dynamic. On one hand, you're kind of looked at like an alien. Um, but on the other, I think it's kind of cool. You know, we get to come here and really set and show a powerful example of what um, community service is all about, what volunteering is about, and uh, I think it's an impression that will uh, really be a lasting one here. <laughs> We're on a walking tour of the village. Let me tell you, these are rice patties in front of us, rice and corn, but life here is very hard. People have next to nothing. This is one of the houses, they kind of have communal style living here. The town is so big, it's so spread out. Across these sprawling hills, you can see one little house up on the left, one on the right. People working, 
they're waiting for a little rain so they can start to plant corn. It doesn't rain here at this time of year very much. There's another house, and behind me, this is the only temple in the whole region. It's very basic, but actually quite beautiful inside. Let's see if I can get a image. Movie stars. There's a niche or <laughs> Nepali host and his parents at their home. It's been awesome getting to know him. We're visiting the niche's grandfather's house where they're performing a religious ceremony that we were invited to. Lyra, 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 definitely. Everything like uh, sex. Mm. 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 Who are about to lose their shit once they see this thing go up in the air. Here we go, lift off. All hail our future masters. Hey. So, we have a couple more days of work here at the school site in Sorong Chabis, and then we head back to Kathmandu for the end of the trip. I'd say this part of the trip has been a lot more challenging for me than the trek. Not in the physical sense, the manual labor is no big deal, but just um, kind of emotionally, it's tough to see people in this type of poverty. I don't think I've ever seen it firsthand before. Um, and so sometimes when, when we're building the school, which is great and uh, will be an immense improvement from the one they have it's frustrating because you look around and it's uh, immediately see all the other problems that they're going to have to continue to deal with after this new school is built uh like s immense sanitation and waste management problems like cultural disciplinary problems like cultural uh, other sorts of cultural problems that the list just goes on and on and um, so I really had to tell myself you know one thing at a time this is a good first step education is ultimately the biggest and best tool that you can give anyone to give them give themselves a better life or provide themselves a better life um, but it's it's been difficult really difficult at times Bruce Bumbo. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for living the kids. You want to grab a drink bottle with your one hand and hit a huge bump and slam a shin in the wall. Fuck the side. It's worse when he changes gears on you. Hi! Hi! In America. Yeah. And we come, we leave our family, we leave our jobs. And we come and try and help you to have a pretty school because we want you to have very good school. We want you to have very good life. So you can pick up the rubbish. You can make your school very special. Yes? And we will do our best as well. And together, we have very good school. Yes? Yes. Thank you. Some team two. The desks we've assembled are made of wood from a company called Swastik Ply and Board. I don't know if this would fly in America. 
Here's the daily children versus adults soccer game. Always a good time. On the most uneven field ever created. Although it's getting better. Just finishing up our last day here at the school. There's obviously more work to be done. There'll be another group here in April to do it. So far this week, we've finished the roof and we've moved a lot of land and dug a lot of ditches and moved a lot of rocks. Um, all the floors are level. This is an open space. There's a couple of classrooms back there, a couple more classrooms there. So with the rock down, they can start to lay concrete retaining wall over here and uh, a few other small projects like leveling the soccer field and um, putting a few other things together. It's been an amazing journey, an amazing trip, and I'm, I'm proud to have been a part of it. The whole town is here for a goodbye ceremony. These are all the people that we're working for here. <laughs>